Testosterone pellet, uh, Testopel is the commercially available product, 75 milligrams per pellet, uh, 12 to 16 pellets every three to four months, <clears throat> depending also on the lowest T level prior to the next insertion. Um, some insurance companies pay for it, but they only pay for six. So you have to pay out of pocket for the rest and it's pretty expensive. Compounder pellets are obviously, uh, as I said before, a lot cheaper. They can make um, 100 to 200 milligrams per pellet, four to six pellets every three to four months. And uh, I don't know what the total cost is, to be honest with you, but I, I, I know that it's at least a third to 20% of what Testopel is out of pocket. So um, they're, they're, they're tiny little, they look like uh, rice, um, um, like, you know, like little rice. Uh, it has an excellent profile. <clears throat> There's a need, obviously, for insertion. Uh, pellet extrusion can happen in 10% of patients where the pellets pop up when the doctor does not do it right. Infection and bruising can happen also due to bad um, insertion technique. And that's, that's you have to make sure the doctor that is going to provide the pellets um, knows what he's doing or she's doing. Uh, it's important to measure blood levels of testosterone before the next insertion because um, not everybody can wait for three uh, months to to get the next insertion because your blood levels are too low. And not going to go through all the details on the insertion procedure, but basically it's right here by the uh, upper glutes um, and they, they actually insert um, the pellets uh, with a trocar uh, with forceps. Um, and they push uh, a few of them, and I've gotten this done, by the way, <clears throat> and it wasn't painful at all. And you don't feel them, they, they feel like little tiny uh, rice um, pellets under your skin, and they dissolve slowly with time, and um, you don't even know they're there. Um, but I've seen, obviously, some um, cases where the eyes are not as lucky. As you can tell on the left-hand side, there's, in this case, there's bruising. Um, and, you know, it doesn't mean that the injection, the insertion technique was not good. Could, this person could have been on blood thinners or aspirin, et cetera, et cetera. But it could also be insertion technically on the right hand side. That's what it should look like if done properly.